Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install uh, a tool named NetBeans. NetBeans is called an integrated development environment and it's going to allow us to uh, do our PHP development. It allows us to write PHP code, it allows us to write HTML code, it does a lot of syntax check and it allows us to do some debugging. It's a great tool if you're going to be doing a lot of PHP and it's free. Now, in order to use uh, that beans, you have to have Java on your computer. So, the first thing we have to do is install something called the Java Developer Kit. So I'm going to download that first. So I'm going to start up Chrome. And then in Google, I'm going to search for JDK. That stands for the Java Development Kit. You'll see the first kit is the Java SE Downloads. I'm going to click on the Downloads link right here. So again, the purpose of the JDK is so that NetBeans can run. It's a prerequisite for NetBeans. Okay, the first thing I'll do here is I'll accept the license agreement. After that, I have to choose which version of the JDK I want. There's versions for Linux, there's versions for Mac, there's versions for Solaris, and so forth. And for my computer, I want the Windows version, and specifically, I'm going to use the 32-bit version. If your Windows is 64-bit, you would choose the bottom one. I'm going to choose the second one to the bottom. That is the Win32 version. So I'm just going to click there. And you're going to see in a moment the download will start. And it's a fairly quick download, only 22 seconds. So, again, this uh, JDK is required for NetBeans to work. So after that finishes downloading in about 8 seconds, I'm then going to go and get the, the NetBeans software itself. So there we go, that's done. So let me go up to here and just type in netbeans.org. The NetBeans IDE is used for all kinds of coding. It can be used for C++, for Java, HTML, PHP, and so forth. So the one we want is for PHP. So let's go to the download link. And you'll see that there's five separate versions. There's a Java SZ version, Java E, E, Z++, PHP. The one that we want is the PHP version. This Java version means that we're going to be developing Java. In this course, we're developing PHP. So I'm going to download the Java, uh, sorry, the PHP version. And It'll start downloading in a moment. Again, all these tools are free, so it's nice. You can download all this for free, no problem. Notice this automatically downloaded the version for Windows. If you're on a Mac, it'll take you to the Mac version automatically. Okay, I've now downloaded two things. Let's go to my download folder. So I'm going to go to my computer and I'm going to go to downloads. And you'll see that the two things we downloaded are PHP and the JDK. Since the JDK is a prerequisite to NetBeans, I'll install that first. So I'll double click. I'll say yes. Sorry, I'll run it. And I'll take you through the installation steps. It's a fairly straightforward installation. So I'll choose next. 
I'm going to take all the defaults, so I'll choose next. And it's just going to do a little bit of a check. The other thing I wanted to mention is, your computer might already have the JDK. It's okay to install it again, because chances are the version you download is newer than the version you already have. So it's no problem installing it twice. Okay, in a moment it's going to give us a couple more questions. So let's just wait for that to happen. A couple more seconds here. And we're extracting the installer. And then we'll be on our way. And uh, in our first class we used... Um, we use Notepad to write our PHP. You can always do that, but using something like NetBeans makes it much easier. It actually helps you write the code by uh, sort of predicting the things you're going to write next. Okay, the installation is moving along. And we're going to get... As I said, it's gonna it's preparing to install. So it's asking me the location. I'll choose next. And here we go, it started. So I'm gonna pause the video and as soon as it's done, I'll come back. Okay, so that's done. So I'm just gonna click close and now the JDK is installed. The next thing I have to install is, is NetBeats. So I'll install NetBeans. So we're going to choose Run because we want to install it. And we're going to go through the installer. Again, we're going to take all the defaults. So the installer is getting set up. So we'll choose Next. I'll accept the license agreement. We'll choose Next. I'll install it in the standard place and notice it found the JDK, right? So it knows where the JDK is. So I'll choose next and we'll go ahead and install. Again, and I'll pause the video and I'll come back as soon as this is done. Okay, the setup is complete, so I'll just click finish. I'll close this, and if we look, we'll see that we now have NetBeans. In the next video, I'll show you how to, uh, how to make a project using NetBeans. But just to recap, installing NetBeans is pretty straightforward. Number one, you have to download the JDK. Number two, you have to download NetBeans for PHP. And then you install the JDK and you install um, the actual NetBeans. That's about it. See you later. Bye-bye.